So the idea behind finding tangent planes to surfaces is the same as the idea of finding tangent lines to curves. So if we have any curve and we zoom in on a particular point, then as we zoom in further and further, the curve looks more and more like a line. More specifically, the curve begins to look like the tangent line to the curve at that particular point. So in the neighborhood of any particular point, we can approximate the function with its tangent line at that point. So the tangent line is a linear function that approximates the curve around some point. At the point of contact, the tangent line has the exact same derivative as the curve. So we can do the same thing with surfaces in 3D space. And we know that a linear function of two variables will be a plane instead of a line. So if we have a surface in the three-dimensional space, then as we zoom in on any particular point, the surface looks more and more like a straight plane. And so in the neighborhood of that point, we can approximate the function as the tangent plane to the point. So the tangent plane represents the linear function, which best approximates the actual function around a certain point. So we know that any plane has an equation of this form. And so let's say we're trying to find the tangent plane at some point x0, y0, z0 on the function f of x and y. And so we can rearrange for z a bit. And then now the question is, what are the coefficients a, b, and c that will get us a tangent plane? So remember that a tangent line to a curve has the same derivative at that point. It would make sense if this tangent plane had the same partial derivatives as the function we are trying to approximate at the point x0, y0, z0. So the partial derivative with respect to x of this tangent plane is negative a over c. And so that should be equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of a function. And then same for y. The, so the partial derivative of a tangent plane with respect to y is negative b over c. And then that should be equal to the partial derivative with respect to y of a function. So now we can rewrite an equation of the tangent plane using the partial derivatives of a function instead of the coefficients a, b, and c. So again, the coefficients of x and y in a tangent plane equation are going to be the partial derivatives of the function we're trying to approximate, evaluated at the point we are making a tangent plane to. So let's say we have this function here, and we want to find the tangent plane at the point 1, 1. So first of all, we can find the partial derivatives of the function evaluated at this point. So now we can just write the equation of a tangent plane. We have z is equal to the initial z value plus partial x times x minus 1 and then 2 times y minus 1 since 1, 1 is our initial point. And then if you want, you can group all the constants together to get this. And so now that we have this tangent plane, we can approximate the function in a small neighborhood around this point 1, 1. For example, if you wanted to find the value of the function at 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, then you could plug that into the tangent plane equation and get an approximation for the value of the function.